Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at a product called the ID Police, which is an ASEAN TV product that supposedly allows you to securely protect your documents before throwing them in the trash. Does it really work? Let's find out in today's video. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I started off just doing only ASEAN TV products. I still do them whenever I get a chance. So I ran across this one, had a few requests for it. It's been out for a little while, but I'm finally getting around to it. Also in 2021, I'm trying to do more one-off smaller videos on Wednesdays. So that's what it's gonna be this week, the ID Police. So let's crack this open and see what's inside. All right, so here it is. Uh, of course, it comes in this horrible packaging. Fortunately, a few months ago, I did a complete video of multiple products that do this kind of packaging. I'm gonna start off with the Slit It. Should work, no problem. I had good luck with the Slit It on packages like this. Let's see. Bullpet should really sell something like this to get through all their packaging. Let me peruse these instructions for a moment here. It's very, it's, it's, I don't know what I expected, but it's very light. It seems like kind of, you know, dollar store plastic. Doesn't mean it won't work though. According to the instructions, it says, twist the cap to open. And there it is. It says, use firm pressure, slowly rolling the product over any information you want to cover. If uneven pressure is applied, it may not work properly. They do suggest putting the cap on tightly to make sure it doesn't dry out. Let me see what they say you can't be used. is rough surfaces, paper that absorbs ink excessively, some types of coated papers, text with raised print, text and printed in color, and text with large fonts. Let's take a closer look at the ID police. I actually bought a two pack of them, so I have another one. I paid 20 bucks for it. I think a single pack you can get for 10 bucks. It is on Amazon. It currently has a four and a half star rating. Uh, their claims are that it's good for bank statements, credit card statements, offers, pill bottles, shipping labels. No messy stamps, no need for expensive paper shredders. Just roll it, no assembly required. They say it's portable, can be taken anywhere. For those who have tried it and leave positive comments, they say it works as advertised, saves having to shred documents, and it's even fun to use. The cons, however, say it doesn't conceal the info well, the ink becomes transparent as it dries, and someone said it leaked everywhere. Let me just do a very quick test of it right now. They say just move slowly and evenly. Let's see. Oh, well that is kind of fun. And you get their brand marked all over everything. ID Police. Can't go fast. I can see why. Ah, oh, it goes through the paper just a little bit, so you might want to have something down if you have something important underneath it. So one thing I'm going to do for the ID Police is actually mark up all the different papers I have set aside. But what I've heard is that the ink can actually change over time, so I'm going to let it sit for a day and then go through them more detailed tomorrow. I'll kind of show you quickly today how it looks, but tomorrow is going to be the real test to see how the ink holds up. All right, I should point out before I get started, this is the ASEAN TV version. There's versions on QVC, on Amazon, lots of them out there. I really just wanted to see if this one actually works. I'm going to do my pros and cons at the end, but one con I can already tell you is this is a one-time use. There's no refills. I'm not really a big fan of that, but that's what we're stuck with here. I got a whole stack of things I want to try this on, and what I'm also going to do is let them sit overnight and see if I can wipe some of the ink off and see how good the security really is. So let's get started. How about some old election in instructions? Let's see what we can get with that. I was also going to pull out a Sharpie and see if I can just kind of Sharpie out some of this stuff and see how that compares. Let's see. I'm just going to try, I'm going to try a line with this with just a Sharpie. Now, ID police. Very quick, very quick actually, let me see. I get really close here. Can you see the information on there? Can you read it? Compare the Sharpie, where you can kind of, I think you can figure that out. Not so much on the ID police. Here, uh, here's some instructions. This is a little bit glossier paper. Let's see if I can, uh, what I can do about that. ID police. I think I just like saying ID police. It's just uh, rolls off the tongue, I guess. This is a glossy paper, so let me see what that does. I guess, what is this from? I guess I bought some baseball cards. Let's see here. I guess I can read a word or two here and there, but I can't read all of it. What happens if I don't let it dry? Oh, geez. That's, uh, that's not good. Let me see how this looks tomorrow. I'm gonna set that aside also. How about a cardboard? This is for the uh, Coop pillow, which I picked as my favorite pillow in that comparison. The Coop pillow is a good pillow. Let me see how I'm gonna, I'm gonna ruin my instructions just for the ID police. I'm just gonna ID police out all this because I don't really need that as much, much, so let's see. Wow. As the instructions said, the larger type's a little bit harder to hide. You can kind of make out some large letters, but it's still pretty good. And look how quick that was. 
Now here's a really good one here. Something was sent to my, my PO box. I get a lot of products into my PO box. A lot of them I don't do much with, but say you have something in the mail, you want to get rid of it. You don't want that to be in the trash. Let's see. Very quick. I mean, I'm kind of liking this, but you know what though? I can, I can make out. I don't know if you can, I can see my name in there. I can see it. The PO box is a little bit harder to see, but my, I can see my name. What if I go over it a second time? Let's see. Oh, I definitely can't see my name anymore. Here's another piece of paper. This is a unsolicited mail. Hiya. I may have just got on the table. <laughs> oh, well, it's all, it's all for the, t take one for the team, right? So far, so good. More junk mail. Boom. I wanted to try white letters on a dark surface. That, they didn't really address that in the instructions. Let's see. That's one pass through there. I could definitely see it. Let me try a couple passes. I can still read that. So I'm going to say, depending on, on the, the paper and everything, I think that's, that may not work too well. All right, here I got a fake bill. This actually was a, a Pennsylvania sample bill from their electric company. I have, it's funny, I was looking for a fake electric bill to use for this example. Turns out fake electric bills are a thing. People fake electric bills all the time out there. I had no idea. But let me see here. This has like some fake information on it. All right, here's what we got. 123 Main Street, Anytown, Pennsylvania. Can you still read that? Not really. It would be tough. Let me try another one. The, the account number with a bunch of zeros on it. Can you see all those zeros? I can't see them. You know, it, it is, it, there is something oddly satisfying about this. Let's try an, a receipt, because receipts are kind of slick. There's, it's a different type of texture to them. They seem to go on there pretty well. Not bad, really. All right, finally, I want to try one more. This is another one that's uh, to my P.O. box. Let me just try this. I am noticing something here. Let me show you a little closer. I can kind of see my P.O. box when I look at it just at the right angle. So you know, if it's very sensitive, you might have to go over it twice. I'm not sure. All right, one more thing I want to try. I really can't show you close up because it has sensitive information on it, but this is a pill bottle. They do say you can use it on pill bottles. Let's see. I'll be back here where you can't see what, what it says. It's kind of a little bit awkward going around that corner there and the ink seems like it kind of is not even. And I can, I can still read some stuff on there. I can still read everything on there. So I don't know. Let me go up and down. Oh, I'm just smearing it. Actually, the second pass made it easier to read than the first pass, so I'm not, I'm not going to show that. Ooh, I don't know about that. That's a kind of a slick surface, so maybe that has something to do with it. But I'm going to let these sit for 24 hours and I'm going to see if I can wipe the ink off any of them and see what, what results we have with that. So I'll come back 24 hours and finish this up. All right, so it is day two. I'm, I just looked over all the, uh, the things I tried yesterday. I'm not as impressed on the second day. It looks like the ink kind of faded in some cases. I scanned everything in, so when I'm looking at them, I'll show you on the screen a higher quality than what I can show you from the camera. So let's get started. I'm just going to pull another one off. How about the, uh, the package? Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, I can see it. P.O. Box 530572. Oh yeah, I can read everything. This seems like it's faded a little bit since yesterday. The text wasn't as obvious to read yesterday. Let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Another package here. This one I have two swipes on. And I, I can't read that. Nope, can't read it. Oh wait, you know what? If I put it up to the light, I can kind of read it. But not everything. I'm going to say this is kind of a, a moderate pass. The, the cardboard really absorbed a lot of the ink, so, so I don't really need to... I can, I can read every word of the cardboard. Cardboard was not, not impressive at all. How about the fake bill? This is a kind of material that you'd find on checks, on regular papers. Let's see what we got here. Well, I, I, that's kind of hard to... Well, I do see 123 Main Street. I can read that. Let me go to the account number at the bottom. I can kind of see all the zeros on there. Not as easy. I mean, it's kind of iffy. I do see, I see automatic bill pay. I can, I can kind of, I can read probably about 75% of it. The next one is interesting the baseball card pamphlet. This set overnight, look what happened to the ink. It just kind of, it kind of spread out almost like it was smeared. You can see where I smeared it right there. 
But let me see if that means I can read it any easier. Like on the left side where it's lighter, I can actually read all the words there, but as it gets darker, I actually can't. So it's kind of a, it's kind of hit and miss. I didn't put this on water or anything. I just, I left it out. And that's what happened to it. Very strange. How about the, uh, the election document? Although I can read that. This is a little bit larger type. I, Las Vegas city clerk. I can read that. Uh, city, city hall, second floor. I can, I can read it. Now with the, the Sharpie, I can, I can read that too. Hmm. Oh well. Let's try the, the envelope and see how that looks. P.O. Box 19807, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89132. I can read it. I can read it. I'm disappointed I can read that because this is a very common type of paper. How about the advertisement? With my address on it, I can definitely read that. P.O. Box 530572. Disappointing. Now the pill bottle that I'm not going to show you, wow, it faded really badly. I can read everything. I don't even need a magnifying glass. It, it's kind of like the cardboard. It's just everything faded on that one. How about the receipt? You know what? The receipt, I really can't, I, it seems like the text might be the most difficult to read of all of them on the receipt. I thought this was going to smear, but it, it didn't smear. But look at that. I think the receipt is a resounding success. Everything else is kind of hit or miss. The only one I didn't scan was the black glossy one because it looked bad in the first place, but... It didn't really change overnight, but you can still pretty much read it. Nothing really changed, so I didn't bother scanning it. What I want to do now is actually see if I can wipe any of that ink off, especially on the slicker surfaces. Let's try that out. I've just got kind of a damp paper towel here. Let me see what happens to the ink. Not very secure now, is it? Didn't really expect it to be that easy. Let's try this one. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Wiped right off. And, and this is after 24 hours. This isn't just fresh. This has been sitting there for a whole day. Now this is just regular paper. I, mean, I can't imagine it wiping off this one. Let's see. Oh, see that's, that, that's on the regular paper. Not so bad. It's actually making it harder to read. Okay, so off coast is clear on, on this matte paper. Let me try the receipt here. On the receipt, wiped right off. Well, I'm gonna say if it's on regular matte paper, you have a good chance of a stain, but on anything that has any kind of a gloss to it, not so good. These have pretty good reviews. I'm not discounting those, but I'm not as impressed as a lot of the other people that have used this as. Maybe this is just the ID police, but the ratings of the ID police seems about the same as all the other ones. I'm not sure I would trust some sensitive documents to this with one pass, maybe a couple of passes and let it sit and see how it looks the next day. But as the ink dries, it seems like it becomes less impressive than when you first use it, so. If you use it, it looks great and throw it in the trash can. It might not look that way the next day. But if you've tried the ID, please, or something like it, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time. I know I'll be, I'll be doing my pros and cons at the end, but one con I can already tell you is this is a one... <laughs> That's going to be a blooper reel.